Well, the countdown is on less than 24 hours to go before Thanksgiving. But if you don't feel fully prepared for all that work in the kitchen, don't worry. You're in good company. We've got some essential tips from the queen of Thanksgiving tips, <laughs> Nicole Johnson from Butterball's Turkey Talk Line. Welcome. Thank you. Well, happy almost Thanksgiving. Almost Thanksgiving. Now, I've just got to ask you, what's the wackiest stories that people have called in about on the tip line? Yeah, great question. You know, we get a lot of what we like to call memorable phone calls year after year at the Butterball Turkey Talk Line. They always pertain to how do I go about thawing my turkey. Really? We have heard some very creative ways over the years. We've heard of a gentleman who decided to thaw his turkey, wrap it in an electric blanket. Oh my gosh. We have heard kidding. throwing that frozen turkey in the jacuzzi. Oh my gosh. And, you know, having four little butter balls of my own at home, I have heard of a father who wanted to multitask and yes. he decided to bathe his toddler twins in the bathtub alongside trying to thaw that turkey. No. All three in the bathtub no. at one time. That's, that's. So there's really some cute ways that people go about thawing their turkey. But it is a pretty significant thing. You've actually got a bunch of tips for us. For this. Absolutely. And so the first thing that we like to tell folks is when thawing your turkey, keep in mind it takes 24 hours for every four pounds of turkey meat to thaw in your refrigerator. Wait a minute. So if I'm doing the math here, some people, it might already be too late. Not to fear. Okay. A great question. And we do get that a lot on the day before Thanksgiving or even Thanksgiving Day. People have forgotten to start the thawing process. Yeah. We tell them not to fear. They can opt for the cold water bath method, okay. a very safe and acceptable way to, to thaw your turkey. It's a faster method. Okay. It's a half hour per pound. Okay. So a 10 pound turkey would take five hours using that method. Okay. Ideally changing that water every half hour and uh -huh. again leaving the wrapper on, placing it breast side down is going to help speed the thawing process. Okay. That is our first T of what we like to call our three T's for our callers. Um, the second tea that we have after thawing is using your meat thermometer. So we tell folks go ahead and visit the butterball.com website and you can actually watch a how-to video of where exactly to place your meat thermometer to check for doneness. That could be very useful. Exactly. The third tea that we have is what we call tenting. You take your piece of uh, foil, it doesn't have to be too big, about the note, size of a notebook sheet of paper, okay. and you tent or shield that breast area. And you'll oh. do that after the turkey's been cooking for about two thirds of the way. You may take a peek on it and notice that that breast area is starting to brown faster uh -huh. than the rest of the turkey. So you go ahead and shield the, the breast uh -huh. area, and that allows the thigh to come up to the 180 degrees. And those are our three T's. It's funny. I always, recommend. The biggest mistake I always make is building enough, putting enough tin foil on top to build an ark. Like as oh. this is like Noah's Ark here, but it's <laughs> small little shit. No, is that, that's yeah, that's okay. absolutely correct. Um, and with that said, a lot of times people will call, and there's very um, there's a number of ways you can cook your turkey. Mm -hmm. We at the Butterball Turkey Talk Line like you to use an open pan method. Okay. In other words, no cover, no lid. Okay. A 325 oven from start to finish, and ideally about two and a half inches tall the pan should be. This is a great pan here because you have a flat rack that you've placed at the bottom of the pan, helps elevate the turkey up off the bottom of the pan and allows for that nice, hot circulating air. Now a lot of times people will call and they say, after my turkey is done, it's out of the oven, I have a hot pan, mm -hmm. how do I remove that hot turkey Good point. from the pan to the cutting board? With that said, again, if you visit the Butterball.com website, uh -huh. we again have another how-to video on there of how to create a turkey string lifter made out of just some kitchen twine and you place it uh, in the pan, bottom of the pan prior to roasting, and it allows for easy moving easy from enough. the hot pan to the cutting board. That is fantastic. Tips I didn't know, and you were actually really going to be answering the Butterball Hotline, I, right? I absolutely am. I'm one of the 50 men and women that are manning the phones. We're open from 6 to 6 on Thanksgiving Day. And you know, turkey isn't just for Thanksgiving, so with that said, we're actually open through Christmas Eve as well. Fantastic. So you'll, our World News Now fans won't miss a beat then That's by right. calling you. That's okay. Right. Well, Nicole Johnson, co director of Butterball's Turkey Talk Line, thank you so much much for joining Thank us. You. And for more tips, head to Butterball.com. And of course, don't forget to call 1-800-BUTTERBALL for help if you need it. Stay with us. You're watching World News Now.